we have a Passan bomb. Jeff Passan is reporting that the Dodgers have agreed to a trade with the Cleveland Guardians to send Ahmed Rosario over to Los Angeles in exchange for right-handed pitcher Noah Syndergaard. I feel like the Mets just whirlwind of former players is just swirling right now. Ahmed Rosario was involved in the Francisco Lindor trade, and Noah Syndergaard gets moved again at the trade deadline after moving last year from the Angels to the Phillies, going to LA, and then now to, well, Cleveland. So Ahmed Rosario, this season's hitting 265 with three bombs in 385 plate appearances. He has 40 RBIs, nine stolen bases, and a 675 OPS. For his career, he has a 273 average with 90 stolen bases and a 708 OPS. Last year, Rosario led the league in triples with nine and hit 283 with 11 bombs, and the year before hit 282 with 11 bombs as well. So Rosario's production has been there, but just lacks defense often, and often hits left-handed pitching a lot better. So what we're seeing with the Dodgers is that they're going out and got Kike Hernandez yesterday, who was struggling this year, and then Ahmed Rosario, who was also struggling this year, and it seems to be that they've dumped right-handed pitcher Noah Syndergaard in this deal. And Syndergaard here for the Dodgers. He has a 7-1-6 ERA. Wow, that's bad. And 55 and a third innings pitch, 38 strikeouts. His velocity is way down. But we do know with Cleveland that they love their pitching and they love to turn players around and get absolutely a bunch out of nothing. If you're Cleveland, Syndergaard is currently on the IL, which is a little bit confusing, especially since his numbers are way down and he struggled absolutely mightily this year. In his career, he's a great pitcher, don't get me wrong. 3.65 ERA, 908 innings pitch, 910 strikeouts, 1.193 whip, career whip. But he's just, ever since he got Tommy John surgery, he's just been a shell of himself. And, I mean, sure, the, the Guardians love, you know, turning players in, and, you know, pitchers into some great players. I mean, we look at their pitching staff. It's been absolutely crazy the last couple years so we'll see if they can find some light in Noah Syndergaard and turn him into something that he used to be again velocity down is going to struggle a lot but for the Guardians I don't really know what you're doing um the winner of this trade to me is the Dodgers sure Rosario has been kind of not so good I, I know a lot of Guardians fans don't like him you know as a Mets fan it's you know it's kind of crazy to see that he's now getting traded for Noah Syndergaard. If you told me that five years ago, I'd be like, what the heck are you talking about? I think the Dodgers they're gonna turn Rosario into something great. We talk about all the guys that go over to the Dodgers. J.D. Martinez he was good, but he got better. You know Jason Hayward he's been amazing. A bunch of their guys they always turn hitters into great stuff. Kiko Hernandez back with the Dodgers today had two hits already. So I expect Rosario to have big things going for him. And for the Guardians I don't understand what this trade's about but i struggle to comprehend the reasoning behind this trade for cleveland i mean you get another pitcher but injured and hasn't been that good so overall i want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below to me i think the dodgers i think they're going to get a b in this trade and the guardians are getting a d i don't i i seriously don't understand this cinder has been a shell of himself and really not that good sure he's a free agent after this year i believe so is rosario but I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Very interesting trade. The winners of the Dodgers, they get a B. Guardians get a D. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, this is the place you want to be. Hit that like button, subscribe. More trade deadline stuff coming out for you tomorrow, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.